to another episode of Minecraft. Hope everyone is doing great today. So I've been pretty busy off camera again, but um, I just got rid of the grindy stuff at least. I'm not like sitting there mining all these diamonds and, and all that stuff, but um, spawn is looking pretty bare at the moment. Um, I finally got a lot of spawn taken care of. I actually need this bat. I think I came over here to grab that. Um, this is pretty much the spawn point now. Um, last time I showed it, it, we had our mountains still here. I still got a little, little bit left to, to remove, but um, this was all still shown, and now it is pretty bare. As you can see, we have quite a few problems down here with all these mobs spawning, and I'm just going to let them spawn from now on, uh, just for the time being. It kind of has that that vibe of Futurama, where like you have the New York City, like the new New York City up on top, and then below you have the old New York City. Uh, that's kind of the vibe it gives me. Um, but a lot of work went into this. This is a lot of hours. I think this is like a a twenty hour project or something like that. And I did have a beacon at least for over there. Um, got two more beacons at least. Um, but that's what's been going on here. Um, I worked a little bit on uh, the tower since last episode too. Um, but we're not going to be working on the tower today. I think today we're going to work on our melon and pumpkin farm over by our base. I want to start there uh, to work on that. Um, of course, right now 1.16 is out, but I'm actually still playing 1.15 because I didn't get to play a lot of it in the first place. So. I just feel like there's there's too much to do already, and I'd like to accomplish a little bit of the 1.15 stuff before we fully update. Um, but I will tell you, I'm not going to reset the Nether. Um, so, because uh, I know I talked about it last episode, maybe about resetting the Nether, I kind of decided against it, uh, which I had a feeling I would. But come over here to spawn, not spawn our base. Nothing new otherwise. Um, I don't have any fireworks at the moment, so we got to use scaffolding. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't been killing too many creepers. Uh, I don't have a, a gunpowder farm yet, or creeper farm. Uh, that's on my list, but uh, it's not a high priority at the moment. Um, maybe in a few episodes, hopefully, uh, we can get around to that. But uh, last episode, we finished up the church. We worked on. Uh, theme park a little bit. We started that project. Um, that's a really long project, but we're not going to work on that this episode either. We're going to be working on the melon and pump pumpkin farm here. And I have one shulker box of glass at least. But uh, we got the melons and pumpkins that will go in here and we can use this for trading. And of course we got all this stuff over here for the future expansion and stuff like that. Um, but I've been farming up a lot of wood at our tree farm as well so that's pretty good we got lots of logs to work with that should be enough to finish this um, formed up some jungle some acacia and we got like two double chests of, of birch now so we are we're all set when it comes to to logs at the moment except for oak oak's kind of the the one that I don't like farming because of the, the gypsy trees, but I think we're going to start with, I should light it up first because I don't have any lights. I was thinking about putting lamps in the center of each of these coming down because we're going to have walkways above on all these. This way we can at least have a lot of light to start out with. I don't know how far this will last though. And then, so what, it, I don't know if I actually showed the, the final plan, but I built this in creative mode a little bit, and uh, the plan was to, actually the grass hasn't even grown all the way yet, didn't, didn't even notice that. The plan is, ha plan is to have this surrounded by uh, oak planks, because it's an oak district, and we'll have the floors here, which will, these ones will have like a glass center. And I want to put brown glass, but I don't have any brown dye, and I'm not gonna to hold it off. So I'm thinking about like doing something like this, maybe. I don't know. 
Let's look at it. Let's see what it does. I'm thinking about something like that, and then having the wood in like that. Where did that plank go? Did I pick it up? Oh well. Um, we got the glass. I should probably grab some of that. And of course, I'm just pointing with this idea because I didn't really talk about my, my fascia. I didn't plan it this way, but I think we're going to... Hmm, if we do something like that, maybe? No, now it looks too bulky. I think we're going we're gonna to try it out with it being fully glassed first and see where that goes. Of course, this one's going to have to have um, wood like that because it's an entrance, but... So the entrances will look like this, and then maybe we can. We'll just we'll just try this out because I don't remember how I had it. I don't have the world accessible to, to look back at it, but I kind of remember the plan a little bit. So we got that, and then it'll be that way all the way up for the most part, and then on the sides we'll have glass peeking out in the windows. Just don't remember exactly how I had it. But we'll figure it out. We always do. So I'm going to put this glass around. Just work in this first layer first. Um, put in the the first layer of the floor like this. I'm just going to leave the center open to see if I want to put glass there. Um, if I want to have a skylight. Because I can't remember if I did have a skylight. But I think I did. Um, I know I have skylights here because this is a huge open room. We'll have fence posts along the side. Uh, ladders to come go up the sides or whatever to get up into the different layers then I don't know if I'll like put storage chests there or what but whatever it's gonna be um, I think it'll look alright so uh, I'll get on that and I'll show you guys uh, the progress we make alright so it's been a little bit of time uh, since the last time I worked on this. Uh, I had to go back to the drawing board on something, and now I'm actually seeing something I need to fix again. But um, I went up to the third floor and I started working on the roof, and I kind of did a quarter of it. And I like the pattern I have, except I think I see one issue. Um, I have glass in the floor, so you can look up at any time, and there will be uh, sunlight in all these during the day. Because it's supposed to be a greenhouse, and I'm trying to get that greenhouse feel in here. And um, I do have to add more light on these floors, though, because these lanterns are, aren't enough. Uh, so I can come up here to the third floor. And then here is where the problem is. i got to do something with this. I can go there, but I'm not going to. i got to have, like, windows. I need a window here, you know. Question is, now I can't have it that high there. How? So you got the window there. I got. I can have a window here. I gotta sleep here real quick, too. But I can put in windows like that. I think it might be just best to do it that way. So I'll try this again. Um, I had to go to my my testing world. I, I don't like to use my testing world, but I have a, a complete total replica of this built because I had to do lots of designing stuff on this. Um, which has taken quite a bit of time. I was, at least we have world edit there, but uh, just got to work on some of the spawning spaces to make sure that mobs don't spawn. I have a lot of them figured out though. Like up there, I put lanterns. I got to do that to the other side yet too, but um, we got light that's still going to come in through the, through the top, which is important because then we won't have crops pop off at all because uh, we're going to have melon and pumpkins. I haven't decided what's going to go where, but um, we'll probably figure that out real fast. And then I was running a little bit low on wood, so I started planting more trees and cutting a few more down. Uh, I needed some more wood to, you know, you can never have too much wood in this game, so we got a lot more wood now. And looking at this, I like that a lot more, but I think I got to add another window on top. So I'll think about that when I get to the next layer. Actually, I might be able to do that right now if we go up there. 
I got so much work to do in this area. It's going to take a lo- quite a while for me to to get it with the time um, I, I have. But just trying to get in the swing of things a little bit more, trying to get a better upload schedule. Um, oh, that's right. I can do that, can't I? That's right. I didn't have my ladders on me last time. I can go all the way up to the top. I can actually place something there if I need to. Of uh, do that. Yeah, I think I can. Um, if I do that, I can still look through the bottom and the top like that. And I mean, I don't see why not. Um, let's see how that looks. Let me grab some more glass. Do it over here. And honestly, that looks a little bit better. It still looks kind of bare because I don't have the the logs going up, but it certainly looks better than it did. So I'll take that for now, and um, we'll probably make a change to it later on, uh, most likely. But um, just kind of want that shape. So happy with that, and uh, I'll put the rest of the roof on, and uh, we can work on the an, a quick interior here. And so I'll get the the top done. Uh, roof and then we'll work on a little bit of the interior here even though there really isn't much to do but um, that shouldn't take that long which is a uh, pretty easy it'll make it go really fast so whoop de do all right looks like I have finished all the glass here I almost ran out of glass when you walk in it is massive in here uh, for a greenhouse uh, the only thing I have left to do is is add the fences up on all the ledges. There actually is no way to get up to this ledge here. I'm just gonna leave that there for decoration. And, and I think eventually I might just add pumpkins and melons up there, uh, just so it looks like it's kind of a storage area for them. Uh, I kinda wanna put some chests up on this layer, uh, the fourth layer, fourth floor, um, but I don't think I'm gonna do that um, anytime soon because um, I don't think we're going to get that many melons and pumpkins. And they're probably all going to be traded away anyways. And uh, so it's a good thing I grabbed um, water buckets because I completely forgot that I did the water bucket thing before <laughs> um, I have even built the structure. So water buckets are in. Um, I think it's got to add a ladder somewhere. I think it's this side i got to add a ladder. Yeah, I'm missing the ladder up there. Let me do that real quick quick never mind I'm wrong that's already done but anyways um, I think one of the things that's gonna be a big issue is this center portion with lighting um, and as of right now I do have to add some torches in here because we have block or light level 7 which means mobs can spawn so I have to add either a torch here on the inside or actually you know what? I think I will add them I'll add them on the outside so I gotta add a torch right there and then I got to add a torch here and here. And it's kind of like, it mirrors uh, up on, you can't see it, uh, right right up there on that fifth level, I have lanterns so that nothing spawns up there, like spiders or whatever. So it's, I guess I'll just mirror it that way. And that should fix a lot of my issues. And also it puts some light out here because there is absolutely no light. Um, which I know that's been a, a problem for a while, but I haven't acted upon it. Uh, this one's a two. I think those are all twos I need. There we go. We'll just do that. I'll go that do that all the way around, and then I don't think I need anything there. But and I didn't realize how dark that was in here. Because um, you see, it's so dark at night. Let's see here, how we. You know, I just got to add the fences now, I guess. I was going to... I can't remember how I had it. Um, I know I had a fence post. Oh, you know what? Actually, it did work. Okay. So what I did when I was designing this building was I made fences. Let me grab some fences. That should be enough. And I went across the top right up in this layer. 
and it kind of obstructs the view a little bit, but it lights the center up so nothing spawns on the um, the pumpkins and melons because mobs can actually spawn on top of them. So putting this fence layer here and putting another one in the middle over here allows me to put lanterns up and I can light it up that way. Kind of like what I did uh, over there at the, um, the normal farm we have the uh, what farm is it called? It's the carrot, pumpkin, and wheat farm. And then kind of like reed farm, I guess. Which I am planning to, to build a bigger reed farm because it's it's kind of difficult for me to, to make a lot of trades with the reed farm we have behind those trees there. i got to be careful. It can get blown up. So then here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Something like that. Let me just check the light levels. That's not good. This will all be melons here. And we have a seven right here, so I gotta do something about that, but uh, I do have sevens. This might not work after all. All right, so I just tested it now. I found a, a solution. Um, and we're gonna put lanterns up here like that. And up through here we'll do that symmetrically here for the most part probably won't be fully symmetrical but symmetrical enough for me um, hopefully the uh, OCD doesn't get too bad on this but um, there's gonna be lots of light down here though that's for sure uh, I just got to go get more lanterns and uh, we'll try that out and if you're wondering what it looks like from the gazebo it looks like that and that is just a massive wall of glass um, it kind of reminds me of an old build. And I was kind of thinking, if I were to build this in like a Minecraft beta, I could pretty much still build this almost exactly the same. The only thing that would be, that would be different would be the sideways logs. Everything else, and the lanterns. Sideways logs and lanterns. Everything else would be completely different, or uh, completely the same, rather. Um, and then the fences I won't be able to place in the air, but um, that's not the end of the world. But I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, man, that that'd be really interesting to build this in Minecraft beta. It would take a lot more time than this, because you know, there's Elytra, there's all sorts of other things that make it easier. Oh, he's not gonna make it. Uh, oh, he's not going to make it, is he? He didn't make it. Oh, that's a bummer. I think when it comes to the fences up on the ledges here, I'm going to leave though, uh, leave the build without it for now. Um, I might just add them later. But right now, I kind of like it open without the fences. I feel like the fences ruin a lot. And actually... I haven't even looked at uh, what it looks like from up above, so I should probably do that. You already see I'm preparing to expand over there. So I head up here, get the view of outside. This is probably the worst window, but got that. I forgot what I'm gonna. I think the sign just says raised up there because I kind of want to raise that up. I want to flatten all that. I got too many plans, but. So it looks like from up above, and it's like, wow, look at that. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. I like that. It looks like it's completely daytime in here, no shadows at all. Oh, no. I gotta fix that. I'll do that later. <laughs> oh, there we go. A serious decision. It's important to get this advancement now. Because in the the 1.16 update, which we're not going to update to, I think I already mentioned that. Um, the new update, you can't get that achievement anymore with a diamond hoe. You have to make a netherite hoe. But since I already got the advancement now with a diamond hoe, I won't have to, to get that advancement with a netherite hoe. Will I still make a netherite hoe? Of course I'll still make a netherite hoe. Because uh, hoes are now a lot more useful, but something to look forward to. I'm actually going to plant these real quick. 
So here's what the finished product's pretty much gonna look like then. Um, I've been doing a little bit of AFKing in here to, uh, what's it called, to get all the melons and pumpkins in here, but it's, I've AFKed for like an hour and this is all I've got. So um, pretty successful, we got almost all of them uh, planted. Just got one more row of pumpkins left. Um, I've gotten quite a bit so far. I've gotten all that, so I'm happy with that. Take some glass. And I've actually switched out our bed to a red bed because I have an idea that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I mentioned it earlier. I'm going to go over here on the other side of this, or like by the end of that cobblestone pathway or bridge or whatever. And I want to create like a Minecraft beta, Minecraft alpha area where the only thing I'm allowed to build with is stuff from Minecraft beta or Minecraft alpha. Um, pretty much beta and earlier only. So like this uh, granite pillar here is banned. I'm not allowed to use it. This wasn't in the game in beta. Um, there's a little bit of a gray area. I'm it's going to be like all the way up to one beta 1 1.8, but like I'm not going to use, I, don't, I can't remember if enchantment tables were out or not or stuff like that. So if I don't know, I have to look it up, but um, I think this would be a great area to do that um, area or idea with. So like start it pretty much like right in this area here. And so this entire area is going to be just all Minecraft beta base. And the goal is kind of to make a village, uh, kind of like what I want to do everywhere, I guess. But um, the difference is I'm only allowed to use Minecraft beta stuff. So some of the things include, I think I have only Minecraft beta stuff. Like I can't, I can't use lanterns. I have to use all up and down logs. Um, I can use brick, but I can't use any of the brick stairs or slabs. I don't know if they were in the game yet. Uh, stone bricks I can use, poppies I cannot use, these flowers all have to go, um, scaffoldings I no. I can use glass, and I think I can use glass panes, but I'm going to try not to use glass panes, I can use logs, there's no corner stairs I can use, here's some of the logs here, I'm not even allowed to place string on the ground like that, um, that's banned. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a very big challenge. But how I kind of want to do it is, you know, have your low buildings here. Not really tall ones or whatever. And then as we get closer to this forest here, since this forest is going to be, the plan is to have a whole bunch of skyscrapers. Not as big as that one, but um, just start kind of gradually making a skyline here. So after about a day of trying to figure out what I should build, I decided I would build... Uh, five-story tower um, that's actually uh, um, it's actually a really significant build of mine it's actually my first build that I ever made in Minecraft ever and it was over nine years ago now um, I have a screenshot of it and if I have it I'll put it on the screen now but I don't know if I'll have it uh, let's see if I have it all right, so I went through all my screenshots and I found this one here. And this is the only picture I have of the base I built. And it's just a house, it had a basement, but I, I don't know if I'll build the basement or not. Um, and in this picture, it's ironic because I'm actually building a greenhouse, uh, the exact thing we did earlier in the episode. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, but this is pretty much uh, what I had for the screenshot and um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, build it. But anyways, um, that's the only snapshot I have of it, and I was still building it, but I remember how the rest of it went. It was only five stories tall. It was a seven by 11 building. <laughs> I didn't count much. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So this is pretty much how big the building was, right here. And you can tell I really didn't care about space so much. Um, but it still was kind of roomy inside, and I had the door, I had a door right here, and I believe I had another door on this side here. So I had two doors. 
I'm not sure if this is where this door was, but I'm just going to go with it. Um, I don't really know much otherwise. And then I had this like that. All the way across. Like that. I can't forget this corner. Then we brought it over. It was just kind of like this all the way around. And I pretty much copied and pasted it. Um, for the most part, on all the way up. Um, it was a pretty basic uh, build. And of course, at the time, there was only oak planks involved. There were, weren't any other colors. But I used spruce trees um, to build it. And I got to make sure I have that there. So then, so that's done, the first layer. And honestly, in the olden days of Minecraft, this build, getting this far would have taken, if you already had the resources, getting this far would have taken quite a bit of time because you, you, there's no sprinting. If you fall, you, you know, can't get up real easy. And it's just experience that helps you really speed things up when it comes to building. But <laughs> I wanted um, a balcony, not really a balcony. I wanted like a, a laboratory feel where you could look at, um, look out the window from anywhere and you could see everything that's going on. And um, that's why I did it that way. And it's actually, um, I try not to do it anymore, but sometimes I still do that. I did have a basement in here, but I don't think I'm going to actually put the basement in. Um, part of the reason is because I was on an island when I built this the first time, and it was actually the it was the first time I'd actually seen snow in the game. I was like, well, it was also my my first world I ever created. I still remember going up to the, my first block and I went to, to mine it and I just clicked it like that and I thought I was supposed to mine the whole block automatically and then I found out you had to hold it down. I'm like, wow, I didn't realize that. It's just one of those things that when you're watching so many people play the game, you don't realize that's actually how you're supposed to play the game is by holding it down. It's just a silly little thing, but. I don't know, more significant than, I'm making it more significant than it really is. But um, anyways, I think I'll just put all these floors in and the glass in and um, try to light it up. And this build will be completed. And maybe we'll build another one or two of these. So please don't see me. Oh, great. They're going to come right towards me. Just get out of here and I'll place one of those down. And let's just get these doors in real quick before they notice me. They did not notice me. Good. I really hate those patrols. I I don't know. That should have been a, a vote to the game to do that. Um, now, I remember when I made this world, it was, I think it was 1.13 I, I made the world. And I'm like, man, it's going to be so cool. we got to protect all of our villages now. <sighs> Well, that ship has quite sailed. Um, these things spawn way too often. And now when you create a world, you have the option of turning them off. Um, I should have done that from the start. But nevertheless, you can't do that anyways. Uh, one of the important details I forgot to, to mention is that putting um, torches on top of ladders this didn't exist uh, back in the day, so I actually can't do that. I have to place all the torches on the ground. Um, I've, I was looking at the picture and I noticed like I didn't put the torches on on the fence post, and it, it reminded me that you can't do that. So that's kind of upsetting. Okay, I took things another step further. <laughs> I'm on the old uh, Minecraft texture uh, textures uh, that they have in the game textures not textures things look quite different uh, that's for sure but there we go that's what the thing looked like in its full glory back in the day of course I'm missing a few aspects of it and maybe we'll create those I don't know um, for this entire like this beta alpha district I think something I'm going to to try to do with it is if it comes to the roads I think I'm going to try to go with brick because brick isn't something that was very common back then. So I really can't use much brick, but I do want to build one one or two or three brick things. 
here and there. Um, maybe I want to build like a brick tower over there, but in the skyscraper area. But I don't know. Too many plans. I got too many plans, you know. Uh, we're going to build with stone. Um, and I don't really know what we're going to build. I'm just going to just start building and see what happens. Um, the horse has to go. I can't let the horse in. Sorry. You know what we could do? You know, I always used to build buildings like that. Don't do it so much anymore, but you know, let's just do let's just do like an odd shape, you know. There we go. That looks kind of weird. Um, this is a an odd one. This one's probably only going to be a small one because stone is not the most luxurious thing to build with anymore. No one ever builds things just out of plain straight stone. And no one ever mixed textures together too. Like nowadays you see everyone like n nothing's a straight line. I'm old fashioned. I still like that, but time I know, I'm aware uh, times have changed. So there we go. Got this now in um I could do something. You know what? We're just going to have to do it like this, I think. All right. And I guess this is going to be the finished product of this uh this building and I might add another flower pot or two here. I think that'd be a good idea. Um, I kind of I kind of changed my style up a little bit. I put a little bit of new style into old style because I don't think people would have done something with that. However, I am going to I didn't think of this before. There we go. I gotta put it like that. I can also do that too. There we go. Um, this this build's pretty much done. It looks like I added a little bit of a porch I really I could have added like a balcony and another floor to this but I didn't um, this kind of gives me that NPC village vibe that's kind of what I was going for with the, the logs on the top but unfortunately I'm out of logs so this build is um, the last we're gonna do in this area today unless we did one solely out of um, stone and cobblestone and stone bricks but I'm kind of iffy on using stone bricks I'm trying not to use them because uh, I go crazy if I start using them so I got another thing planned for the rest of this episode and it's to begin working on another hub so that's gonna be more than a one episode project I think but we'll see how much we can get done today it's gonna be lots of digging and um, I'll probably just start by digging a lot of it out uh, before we even start working on it all right so we should probably get started on the nether hub but unfortunately we're we were running out of time, so I pretty much finished it. Um, <laughs> um, this is what's what's left to do is pretty much just this room here. This takes us to our portal. Um, do I have any? I don't even have the a boat. I gotta grab a boat. All right, we got the boat. So essentially, what I ended up doing is I know I talked about the random blocks earlier. Um, I decided to try it out with brick and uh, granite. And I actually ran out of granite, had to go mining, and um, I've been working on a few other projects in the meantime, because um, I'm about to start the next episode, like literally right after this. Um, but if we come over here, this takes us to spawn, and then we have the ice road that goes around the outside here. And it's pretty much spawn proof except for the ice right now. Um, I can jump up anywhere I need to. I got room for expansion. This guy's spawned. I probably can't get through. I can. So we got that takes us to the desert. Um, and it's a little bit hectic because oh, I had a boat here. Um, get out. We'll take the the spruce boat. If we go this way, this was what took the majority of the the time was this road here because. This takes us to our um, our nether fortresses. We have two right next to each other. And on top of that, this is also uh, where we get our ice. We get our ice right here. This is where our ice is at. And if we go further, this takes us to the um, area where we've been getting wither skeletons uh, to spawn. Has it been super efficient? 1.16, we can actually make a farm for that. Um, but anyways, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and as always, have a good one.